you're going to go your windshield wipers. So windshield wipers, both basketballs are going to dribble together, almost looking like a windshield wiper action. The harder, the more wide they dribble the basketball, the more of the control they're going to develop with their hand. Average players dribble with just their hand. Great players dribble with their entire arm, their entire torso, and they really get into this move. So this time, they're going to do their wide dribbles, and now you're going to throw a behind-the-back pass. All right, let's see what it looks like. Here we go, windshield wipers, behind the back. Wider, wider, wider. Wider and quicker. Yep, we're going to go right hand first. Yep, so angle your body so you can make that pass. Ready? Pass! Good, okay, so, and just so everybody on the video understands, I have never done this drill before with these athletes. These are three of the more talented athletes that I train here in Iowa, and they are players that are very, very good at this move. So to start off with, you want to make sure the athletes can level one, dribble two basketballs at the same time. Level two, that they can make strong one-handed passes. And then level three, they are able to now move with two ball dribbling and their one-handed passes at the same time. We only got a couple more. All right, this time you're going to pass left-handed. Go, windshield wipers, windshield wipers. Left-hand pass. Good, a little bit quicker. If you haven't broken a sweat by now, you've wasted the first five minutes. Ready? Good, you got it, Ev. Good, snap your opposite butt cheek. Pass! Good, better, better. One more time, right hand. One more time, right hand. Good, let's go in and out dribbles. In and out dribbles, just to change it up. In and out dribbles, just to change it up. In, out, in, out. Push, there you go. Good, and pass. All right, not bad. 